Hi everyone, today, hey. today we're going to do a couple hanging baskets. <laughs> As you can see, uh, Nelson and I decided to do it two different ways. Mike decided to just go full bore and cut everything. Yeah, my original plan was to cut it so I was loading the cake tin, but then I abandoned that idea and I'll be And I just um, put the whole bit in and then decided to put the compost in and then cut around afterwards. But you can see we've got our baskets in the buckets and just stop them would be bobbing around everywhere so it makes it easier to get them nice. So the plants we got today were absolute bargains some little so they're yeah. only a pound each. Chuff for that. If we knew that we would have bought a few more and yeah. we also got 10 bedding plants as well with £21.79. People always say, oh, they're any good from Lidl's or not, but we've never had an issue with them. No, we've little. always had good luck with Lidl plants, yeah. And the only other thing we planted was one blue lobelia, which you already had in the garden, and uh, split it into two, which we're going to do in a minute. But well, we split it in two, and then you decided you didn't want it in yours, so yeah, I put it back in mine again, so... Yes, yeah, so it went wrong, it went in my basket. Hopefully it will uh, pick up. They normally, they're pretty good little plants, but these little ones, uh, Dianthus, they've got three little pink ones, which are quite sweet, but these ones were only a quid. Right in the centre, so it's the one at the minute. I, I'm trying to be helpful and picking the hole, and then Lauren decided she didn't want to put that in yet, so no. it's concentrate on your own. Of course, we've been voicing it, it was a uh, tad windy. <laughs> really windy. Really windy. We had the uh, camera on the old um, brolly stand, but yeah, it was uh, just a bit windy today, wasn't it? Yeah. But still warm enough to be out in the sun, so that was nice. But yeah, there's the other little Diane so that was we've got. If I knew they were only a pound, we would have, like Mike said, we could have bought a few more, but... And Mike's been putting in some um, little marigolds with us, so we've got a pen in there for £1.79. That was pretty good from Lidl. You can see how windy it is, a little chilly in the bottom left corner there, so... We're going to take a tumble, but... So that's a couple going in now. Yeah. So we also put some um, fish blood and bone in the compost just to give it a good, uh, good start. Fine on with the top pressing to finish off. I think mine gets stuck in the bucket. I'll give it a heave bone, it should yep. come out, there it is. Just easier to have them in the bucket so they don't go all over the place. And there they are. Whilst back out in the front of the house, just water them in. The nice good old drink trouble is we watered them and then it absolutely chucked it down the brain, so... It did! So then I've had a nice water, so they'll be alright. And after all, we had two spare plants left over, so there's only one thing to put those in. It's in the climbing rose pot we did the day before. Oh yeah, the two little, two small little marigolds. So we, uh, we are, we put them in there, look, just to fill the gap. The rose won't grow super quick, it'll just sort of tumble up the, uh, the drain pipe there we hope, so those lobelias will come over the front, those nice blue lobelias, so. So yeah, that's pretty much the front of the house done now. It is. It's a monitor it and not overwatering it. Walk those new plants in. But yeah, we couldn't leave those little plants behind for a pound each. And I thought we've got no. some baskets at home already. So really, for just over four pounds, we've got two nice new hanging baskets, which is nice. So and we already had the packets were there lurking in the shed as well. Yeah, from an auction win. So we thought we'd use those. And it's all in all, they've not been very expensive to make really, which is nice. So right up the front, won't it? It will. And that little fuchsia there on the end is already starting to get some nice buds, so... Yeah. A little uh, thank you key workers sign in the window there. <laughs> Made from uh, hammer, hammer beads. Hammer yeah. beads. Hammer beads. That was fun there. I'm sure we might do something on it. 
video of those later, or, or on Milter. Bushy's close up, that's him. He is, that's it, yeah. He's doing his best, isn't he? That's Perry's little patch, and there's Pepper's little, uh, little sign. There's some sweet Williams growing in there. You can just about see the little sprouts popping up now. It's probably a bit late to plant them, but they do their best. I managed to buy on Amazon some plant labels. They were, I think they were just over seven pounds, but there's a hundred labels in there. But I wanted them big enough so that I could write on them the names, and then we can keep the tickets. You can see that one blown away. We can keep the tickets inside so we know how to look after them when they grow. So they don't blow away and lose them in the garden, but we still know what to them. What we've got in the plant is so yeah. As I can't spell or write particularly well, I thought it's best I do the filming. I mean, blimey, some of the names are so long, aren't they? Yeah. There's our nice cosmos we bought put in. Um, where was that now? Yesterday, no, two days ago now. Two days two ago. Two days ago, so that would have been on the well. Thursday afternoon. chuffed with how the garden's looking now and all these little labels makes a nice little bit of colour extra. So we'll try and do some more veg next year. It's a bit late in the season to start planting any more veg. We did have peas down the garden but they got flattened in the front storm the other yeah, day. Yeah I should have bought them so in we really in the front in. We'll see how they go. Might be a bit late in the season but we'll see. They might just be a late a late addition yeah. At this particular point it started to rain so we called it a day. Thanks everyone, it's raining. Bye! <laughs>